Lindsay and I met and began dating early in 2007. We dated for four years and got married in September of 2011. We had our first child, Austin, in July of 2015, followed by Emily, our second child, in September of 2018. My wife, Lindsay, passed away unexpectedly on Christmas Eve of 2018 when uh, we had just had our second child, Emily. She was three months old. All of a sudden, you know, I'm a single parent. Uh, my, my kids don't have their mother. Uh, and it was something that will impact our lives forever. It was Christmas Eve. We were going out to dinner with myself, her, Lindsay, uh, my two children and my mother. Um, I saw Lindsay go outside with water. Um, and then she came running back and went to the restroom. Uh, and I asked my mom, I said, you know, where, where did she go? What's going on? She said she was having a little trouble breathing. So she went outside to get some fresh air and she went to the bathroom. And I had my mom go check on her because she had been in the bathroom for some time. And then my mother came back and said, you need to go back there. Uh, she's lying in the floor, unconscious. Some folks tried to do CPR um, to no avail. The paramedics and the, the emergency responders showed up and took her to the hospital, tried to revive her, um, and were unable to do so. And after a full autopsy, they really were unable to find a specific reason that caused her death. Probably my biggest concern when, when she passed was, my kids are gonna have to grow up without a mom. It's still incredibly overwhelming to me. And, you know, it's something that they didn't deserve. Um, my daughter didn't even get a chance to know her, so she'll, she won't even have a memory of her mother. Austin, my son, has really, the wheels have started turning in his head. And I think he's coming to the realization that he's a little bit different than other kids. Um, and I think that they talk about their moms and, and Austin just has to tell the other kids, my mom's in heaven. It's much more difficult with Emily just because she doesn't understand, you know, she can barely talk. Outside of the children, you know, being alone for the rest of my life, you know, I'm, I hope to be able to live, you know, 40 or 50 more years. Um, and that's more than the lifetime I've already lived. And uh, doing that by yourself is kind of a daunting task. I contacted Four Seasons pretty quickly after the passing of my wife just because I knew that, you know, even though I didn't know what to do, I knew that I would need help um, eventually. And I found from my experience that tackling the problem head on earlier in the process tends to make it easier or better down the road. Um, and I think that s meeting with four seasons a month within a month of her passing made, it wasn't easy at the beginning, but it's, it's made the process more comfortable over time and um, dealing with, with the complete loss of our family has, has been becoming more bearable over time just because we're able to talk about it on a weekly basis and doing it quickly, um, kind of let me channel my emotions the correct way instead of letting them fester inside of me and come out in, in, a, in a way that I do, do not want to project. Seeking Four Seasons help has, has helped to realize, you know, hey, it's okay to feel this way. It's okay to, you know, to take some time for yourself, which, you know, they, they have encouraged me to do um, 
because it's really easy when you have little kids to to kind of fall back and push them forward uh, and put yourself secondary or tertiary uh, to their needs, which every parent I think would do, but kind of help talk through some of your own emotions. Um, and I think that that has been an important piece to the process of, of being able to move forward and moving forward for the, for the rest of our lives. Thank you.